Hello everyone. I hope that you are doing great this week and welcome to my channel again. In this video we'll be discussing one more complex type that is array type column in Spark. This is very important topic uh, while well, you'll be working with JSON data or any complex data type in Spark, right? Let's see the agenda for this video. So first we'll understand what is this array type column. Then we'll see like what are the different ways to access array type column. Then uh, basically we'll see like how the explode function works on top of this array type column. And we'll see like what are the different array function like inbuilt array function that Spark provides because these are very handy uh, API that Spark provides which you can use to manipulate the array type column. With this I think uh, let's jump on the video. So we'll be uh, running all this command in Databricks uh, Community Edition. So first let's understand what is array type column. So if you see array type column is used to define an array data type column on data frame that holds the same type of element, right? So when we do with a lots of different sources, uh, especially working with JSON data, it is very common to get array type columns. Example one, why to use called data array type column like suppose you want to store different addresses for an employee right you want to store their present address permanent address etc right or else if you want to store all languages that an employee speak and many more right to showcase this uh, array type column i have created a simple uh, data data with some dummy data right so if you see that we have created the person data so if you see this tuple have two elements right one if we talk about like this is the first name and another is a array of elements right so it's a string uh, a, a string elements in an array so basically what we are saying is we are creating a data frame from this person data and we are providing two column right one is what's the name of that person and what are the language that this person speak so if you see that we are providing only two name and this is a array type column now let's let's see uh, how this data is created once we run this right so once you run this if you see that this will create two column one is your name so that will be string column and another this spoken language is a array type column right so if you expand this you will see this what does this say like this is a array type column which have element at string okay now let's see how this data looks like so if you see this will create two column one name another spoken language so if you expand this you will see that it will show you the array right so if you see the first first name has two languages right so it will show you two array elements like right? so uh, index index in array starts with zero so zero spanish one english depending similarly for john if you see that John speaks three languages, so you will see like three languages here, right? So if you see this is uh, this is where we created it. Uh, like we did not give any schema, like we did not provide any struct type. So Spark, what Spark did is like Spark was able to infer the schema from whatever data you provided, right? But now suppose I don't want to do that. I want to provide the schema. Uh, manually right i want to provide a schema programmatic like how we can do that that's why you'll be using struct type so we have discussed this struct type in my previous video so if you did not see that video i'll be attaching that video on the i section that should be coming on your top right corner of your screen you can go go to that video and you can learn about struct type and uh, all the data types that present in spark right so uh, defining this schema is very simple so basically uh, i have provided one struct type and in struct type i have provided two column right one is name column that is this and another another part of this schema is the language spoken language right so this should be array type column and if you see the signature of array type column is like you provide the array type column and you provide what are the elements that it holds right so array type column uh, holds string type elements right so this is this is simple just you provide this 
and once uh, so similarly you create a data frame you provide the data and you provide the schema so if you see this this will result in same same uh, format like how the data should look like right now once you see that once you created all the uh, array data type column now it's very important that you should be able to access those elements and should be able to modify it or do some transformation on top of it right now let's see like how we can do that so there are different ways to access array, array elements in spark one of them using an index right so if you see that what we are doing is we are trying to create a column like first language and we are trying to see like what first language does it speak so basically if you see that sila speaks spanish as first language similarly john speaks english as first language so basically what we are giving is we are providing the column and we providing which index the i should get the data so we are support what we are doing we are saying is i need the first element from this spoken language column so that's the that's this right so this is one one so if you provide that your first language will be coming here so there is another way to do this index element suppose you don't want to use column function then it will be very similar so basically what you need to do is you need to select the person df right you want to select from which column you want to get the data right and you want to you want to provide the index suppose i want the index of 1 so i want the second language suppose right so you can do something like this okay i hope uh, you understood this so this is now let's see like what are different ways there is one more method present that is with get item so this is very similar you select the column and you use get item on top of it and you provide the index so this is very similar so either you can choose to use the syntax or you can use the syntax as well there is no harm right there is one more uh, math uh, function i should say that is present that is called as element at so the signature is little different so basically what we are doing is you can use this element at at and you can provide which column you want okay and what what index you want to select right so basically you are saying that give me the third element present in this column right so if you see this this uh, have only two two column right two elements i should say so this does not have any third element so for that reason you are getting a null right but if you see this particular row has three elements so basically if you provide three this should give you the third element so if you saying seeing that you are getting third element right okay now let's see like uh, how to create array column so basically if you see here you see that we are not creating anything manually right you are not uh, transforming some some column so let's see how to do that with create uh, array method that presents right so basically what we want to do is like we want for uh, for the name like suppose sila how many language he speaks right basically we want to do that so basically what we can do is like we can use the array method on top of it we can provide the name like uh, so basically we are joining the name with the size of the spoken language right how this how this transform into is like if you see that you will get a array you will get the first name because this is the first argument and the second argument is like size of spoken language so if you see size of this array is 2 and the size of this array is 3 so this type of uh, transformation you can do with array method right i hope this is clear for you now let's see like how explode works on array type column right so if you see that you have the data in this way suppose i need something like this right i need the name okay i need the language like this i need something like this right 
so name should come in one uh, column and the language should come in one column so if this is like a two language this should be two row and if, if john have like three element this should have john should have three rows suppose i want to do something like this because i want to once i um, flatten this array right i want to do some transformation on top of it right let's see how to do that so this is very simpler a uh, while uh, using explode method so basically what you are saying you are selecting the name and exploding the spoken language right so if you do something like this so this will create a cross product between name and how many spoken language it it has like so it it just flattens that array and you will get row something like this so if we say that sila has two language so two rows came here john has three language so if you see uh yeah, john has three rows here right okay so this is a very very important uh, a function that you can use while dealing with json data or any complex data okay now we understood like how to access the element loud now let's see like what are the inbuilt array function that uh, spark provides right so uh, first suppose i want to know like what are the person that speaks hindi so if you that see sila does not speak a uh, hindi right but john speaks hindi right so i want to create a column which says that what are the person that speaks hindi right how we can do that that's why we can use array contains so if you see that array contains have signature like this so basically we are creating a column that if speak hindi or not we are giving the array contains function we are providing spoken language because we want to see hindi in that spoken language right so basically we, this is the column and this is the search element so we are searching hindi in this spoken language column so if we run this you will see that because hindi does not present in spoken language you are getting false for this and hindi present in the second row so you are getting it true right i hope that you understood this function and one thing to remember there is like this is a case sensitive so if i do like h is lower case right so if you see that both rows are coming and false because this is a case sensitive so you should be aware of it right so if i if i give it as a capital letter it will become true right similarly uh, we have different functions like array maximum array minimum array short Uh, array position right so for that i have created a data like some dummy data like person a b c and i have some data like some numbers right to showcase uh, all this array functions right so let's see how that works so uh, basically we are creating different columns with maximum so you can use array maximum and you can provide the column here similarly for minimum sorted array like it just shorts the data on the ascending order like and suppose i want to find if one number one presents in this data column or not so you can use array position it will give you the index of, of this right so uh, if you run this you will see like the maximum of this array is 8 minimum is 1 if you see the, this has sorted the elements in a ascending order and if you say, see that we have search for number 1 element and it found this number 1 in the first index so this is like one uh, one base index so the index goes from 1 2 3 4 uh, similarly right so if you see that one does not present in this particular column right so you get zero so this is a very important for you to understand so this does not uh, give like null this provides zero if that element does not present there right okay so this is very uh, there are lot of array function present and this very uh, this is very difficult for me to explain all this array function to know more about this what you can do is like you can go to this particular page and you can search for array you'll get all the array function that presents here right so the names are like very uh, self uh, de uh, descriptive because if you see uh, some 
something like array remove right if if we see that remove all elements that equal to the array from the given array so this just remove suppose you want to remove some uh, element you can use this particular function right so this uh, i think i'm done with this array type column in pyspark so i have explained everything that presents in the array type column and i hope that you understood this this concept in the next video we'll be discussing more on complex data type we'll be focusing more on map type column so yes see you in the next video